Lisa, go ahead. So you have this beautiful little place. Yes, I have a little place in, Tos in Tuscany, in Siena. And uh, il Poderaccio is a successful combination of national tradition, family history, and high quality production, as often occurs in Italy. But differently from what often happens today, when thanks to globalization, combined with modern technologies, people have the chance to transfer their business activities and know-how to any place <coughs> in the world. A reality like uh, Il Poderaccio, My Little Farm, can exist only in Siena, only in Toscana. <coughs> Despite my 30 years old experience and the know-how that this long experience has generated, I could never recreate my business elsewhere. The territory, the land, the climate, the location, in a word, all contribute to make the experience unique. Authentical Tuscan and 100% Italian. The origins of my farm is back to 1975, when the property and the land purchased by my grandfather in 1938 were inherited by my mother and her sister, and between, the, divided between them. The estate history though dates back to 13th century, when it was a sinus outpost against the Chianti League with the, the battle from, with Florence and Siena. Today, in our 32 hectares, so very, very little farm, we, uh, we are in Siena, outside the uh, Colli Senesi, really, really close to the city, but uh, in country. And we have six hectares of vineyards, olive trees, and um, rest covered with the uh, woods, Fiat. Yeah? Fiat. <laughs> sorry. It's just not one second, action. everybody. I'm sorry, but this is the wrong presentation, so we'll just settle yeah. with the right presentation so it can go on. Okay. Can you please put the right slides of Mrs. Rava on the screen? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm okay, sorry, Lisa. Control. Okay, let's Let go ahead and yes. just talk, and yeah. the images will arrive later. Okay, you'll yeah. enjoy the images okay. and the pictures of this place. Nature and good wine combine in this part of the country, the history of which is both uh, ancient and modern, made of sweet and toil, tenacity and discretion, strength and entrepreneurial attitude. I'm proud to say this story was made by people who have been able to match beauty with industriousness and who have always been ready to recognize and accept the new opportunity offered by a de developing, quite demanding market, giving life to a virtuous example of made in Italy. To honor the history behind uh, this land and, and to preserve okay. and care for the hin for this, you can say that's part of my poderaccio. And the inner value of this territory, in 1997, we opted for organic farming, which has allowed to quite demanding, <coughs> sorry, allowed us to safeguard the soil and the quality of its products. Il Poderaccio is an organic farm certificated by ICEA, that is an European uh, organization, but we are organizing ourselves in order to obtain American certification, NOP as well, also for uh, export our wine. We produce organic wine, that is the first wine you can see that, that is uh, Chianti Riserva Chico Rock, launched this year and made from grapes. Uh, of our new vineyard that make with Sangiovese, Ciliegiolo, Black Malvasia, and Canaiolo. That are all uh, old vineyards from Chianti. And I'm particularly proud of this wine because it combines my commitment to organic farming with my passion for horses. In fact, Chico Rock, the name of this Chianti Riserva, is a successful young horse 
that was born in Poderaccio in 2011, like the first bottle of uh, Reserva. And we choose this name, that means uh, something black, as in our wine. Uh, our range includes also Chianti, normal Chianti called Lisenesi. And then we have uh, a super, uh, okay, this is, a, su a, a super Tuscan, EGT, that is a red wine with um, another name that is not an unusual name because it's like uh, Brunello or Montalcino, but make it here in Poderaccio. That's the name Brunaccio, always with the horse because it's my passion. And also we have uh, extra virgin olive oil, but this year we have no oil because in Tuscany we have a big problem with the illness for all the olives, so not good oil to be extra virgin. So in 2014, the Poderaccio and also many other farms has, has no oil. And then uh, if you want to know something more about more property, my website is www.poderaccio.com. And the very important and exciting part of the activity at El Poderaccio is represented today by our farm holidays. That's that need for, we need it to survive because we are very little farm. And so we use uh, the old uh, houses in the property to make holidays. And then um, finally, I want to tell something about my horses because as often happens with falling in love, my passion for horses is absolute. And after spending my youth in Venice, as uh, Noemi told, where I finished the high school in 1984, I moved to Il Poderaccio and I read and graduated in economics at the University of Siena. And since, since then, and for a long time after my passion for the time devoted to horses, were directly proportional to my distraction from the study. That's why I finished university, but I start and decide to make a different life and stay in the farm and live my passion and product wine and have people coming from all over the world. I don't export because I'm so little, but I import people to see Tuscany, to see Siena, and to taste our product. So thank you for your attention. So, so Lisa, Lisa, from your story, we understand from one Brunello to another Brunello yeah. is that you are very, very linked to your small piece of territory exactly. and that That's for you it is important that the Italian way of producing is exactly. linked to your territory and yes. for people to come people into to your come to small property. piece of land.